Everyone knows what happens in the winter time. The water gets cold, it gets really clear, the fishing gets really tough. But that's when my most favorite technique of all becomes deadly. It's called tight lining. My phone blows up, my instant messages goes crazy, Facebook, everyone's calling, wanting to know how to tight line. We're going to do something we've never done before today. We're going to dedicate an entire show of explaining the, everything I know about tight lining so that you can go out there and catch those big smallmouth like we do on 3B Outdoors. Welcome to this episode. I'm Nathan Light. Outdoors, Bucks, Bass, and Beards. 3B Outdoors is brought to you by New People's Bank, serving Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia, and Kingsport Convention and Visitors Bureau, where good times are made in Tennessee. I'm going to take a few minutes in this episode and share everything that you need to know about tight lining. I've been doing it for a really, really long time. I don't claim to be the inventor, but a lot of people has really caught a lot of fish in the last few years on this little simple technique. Larry Fitzgerald, one of my great friends, introduced me to it several years ago, probably 20 years ago. I don't know who taught him. It's probably just a glorified crappie or crappy fishing technique. My good friend, Roger Stapleton, inventor of the ugly head jig. That thing was ugly. And man, he made it so it would cast good, shake good, and it was the rest is just history. Well, my old buddy Roger, he passed away a couple years ago, and I've never been the same, but his legacy lives on in a lot of other reasons besides the ugly head jig. Some of the greatest fishermen have took this technique and added it to their toolbox and have become a lot more effective fishermen. You'll see some of those as we go along. Caught a few, now that's a good one, man. That's a chunker. Yeah, hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah. It's my biggest tight line fish, if I can get it in. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's at least 12 inches long, isn't he? I'll let you, no, nah, he's yours. Right. Right. I'm not gonna mess with him, he gets off. Hold up. Oh, that's a good one, man. That's a real good one. Look at this, boys. Look at this, boys. There you go. Dandy. That's a good one. Chunk. That's fun times right there, man. Making it happen late in the day here. Did you jump in front of me and cast it? Oh, absolutely. Was that legal? I got a little tear in his mouth there. That's a good one. It don't get no better than this. In the wintertime, when the water temperature gets below 55, those big smallmouth, they want something that is not moving real fast through the water column and is a good, easy meal. All you need is a Berkeley Gulp Mina, three inch smelt color on a 1 8 ounce ball head jig. I throw it on a seven foot medium action rod, 2000 series spinning reel, and here's the ticket. Four pound monofilament test line. Look at that. Get yours up here. I can't. Buddy. Mine's full. Oh, yours is big? No. I believe it's a little bigger than yours. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than mine. What do we do? <laughs> Go get them together, I guess. Mine's in the boat. Uh oh. Mine is too. Look at that. Look at here. Now, what we didn't talk about eating them shad. You need to show that to Barry back there. Mine don't have that. Look at Oh, mine's bigger than yours, look. You want to say it? Oh, yeah, no, it is. It's no, a lot bigger no, no. than yours. It's a lot bigger. Look at that. 
We've went all day struggling. Struggling. And then, two on at the same time. That ain't bad day. Catch a double, it's always good, ain't I it? I know. Mine's about what, four and a half or five. Well, mine's about three, then. Yours is four. That's a good deal right there. That's pretty cool. Let's get down to business on the true technique of how you actually work the lure. One of the things that I like to do, I like to start out fishing 45 degree banks with chunk rock, mud, or river rock mixed in. I set the boat about one cast away from shore and I'll cast it as far as I can at a 45 degree angle to the bank. And then the secret comes into play. That is just shaking that little rod tip all day long. Like that right there. All you want to do is just shake it. And what you're trying to do is imitate the dying shad that you see when that water temperature starts really turning cold, they'll just kind of float around, they'll dart, they'll quiver, and that's all you're doing. You're wanting to put just a little bit of quiver on that little 1 8 ounce jig head with that Berkeley Gulp Minnow. The other thing that's really, really important, the reason we call it tight lining, you do not reel the lure through the water horizontally at all. You want to free fall like a pendulum, and you keep just enough controlled slack on that line so that you can keep up with it and not have it too slack, but you don't want to reel it through the water column. We'll show you a little bit more about the shake and what happens when you shake it right. Tight lining, boys, tight lining. Mmm. Man, oh man. Wow. Boat. We don't care. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> that my automatic reaction was to hide that fish. That's too much tournament it's fishing. Fishing partner. Yeah, it that's what it is. Hey. <laughs> this portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Looking for a memorable and unique getaway? Visit Kingsport, Tennessee, where breathtaking views and affordable family fun are just a short drive away. Marvel at the natural beauty of the mountains and sparkling rivers and lakes. Enjoy spectacular area parks and endless opportunities for outdoor fun. Relive rich heritage and soak up Southern culture that are truly unmatched. Experience world-class lodging and a taste of Kingsport's local flavor. Great memories are waiting to happen in Kingsport, Tennessee. We'd love to see you here. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spothawk, the world's toughest archery products. Sunshine Sales offers affordable, gently used autos, four-wheel drives, tires and service, freestanding carports, metal and wood utility buildings. They are conveniently located on Highway 23 just outside of Gate City. Hello, I'm Jeff Horn and my family and I own and operate Sunshine Sales and Service in Gate City, Virginia. We're all about value. Often the cheapest will cost you the most, but not here. Hey Jeff, not only are these awesome storage buildings, they make great hunting cabins too. And I guarantee you, Hayden can put it anywhere you want it. When the light is low, that's when you find them. Scouting endless hours till I choose just the right one. I'm Lamar Smith, and I'm hunting a brush country monster. Out here, seeing is truly believable. May Opta rifle scopes, binoculars, and spotters with twilight optimized optics give me an advantage to see more and hunt longer when I'm hot on the trail of that monster buck. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now we've taught you to keep everything simple. You learned how to shake the rod. You want to let it free fall on a pendulum. You don't want to crank it too fast with your reel. Move it horizontally through the water. Now the next thing is the bite. All you're going to see is that rod just load up. Those fish are not going to hammer it. They're not going to jerk it. Your rod will just get tension in it. It'll just slowly go down. Now here comes the ticket that most people have a really hard time. You want, most people want to fight those fish on their drag. 
If you're going to land a big small mouth that's mean on four pound line, you need to learn how to back reel. I can control a fish, a big fish, with one finger on my reel. Here's how it happens. That fish takes off, you use one hand. If you're on the back reel, you can let that fish run. All you do is keep your one finger on the reel. Never rely on the drag because those big small mouth will take your stuff and all you have left is a smile. Think about this tight line and you got to take your time with them. If they get too bad, you got a back reel. This hard surge is what really breaks a lot of people off. A lot of people rely on their drag, but it's better to back reel. key to this is the light line and that little barb on that hook now once you get them in that top part of that jaw that meaty section they're not going to get off if you play them right. I told Brad Burkhart during his tight line and training session right after a big small mouth had just whipped him that it's kind of like airplane pilots. A lot of people could probably get an airplane off the ground but it takes a true professional to land it. The same thing applies with a big small mouth. The first one you hook up on four pound line, you're gonna give me a call and you're gonna say, Nathan, I hooked up with a big fish and he took my gulp. What do I need to do? Here it is, back grill. Save you a lot of trouble, catch a lot more big fish. You can let him run, you can control that with one finger. See him watching, he's pulling down, bulldogging. Catch up when he comes back up, he goes back down, you let him go, let him go right under the boat. Control that reel with one finger. Here he comes up. Four pound line, you can hold them, but you gotta learn the back reel. I don't trust that drag at all. Happens a lot of people will lose them right here at the boat. They'll always make one more surge right here at the boat. If you don't have that back reel set, he'll take your stuff. There you go. Now that's a chunker. Once again, a little jig right there on the side of his jaw. Four pound line, big old belly. Happy fisherman. Yes, baby. One of the most overlooked things of wintertime fishing is the importance of wearing your life jackets. One of the things that I like to do now is where these auto inflatable. If you fall overboard, they automatically inflate. You don't have to worry about it. They're comfortable to fish in and you can fish all day long. But if you don't have one of these, you must have one of these. This is a personal flotation device. If you get inspected, you have to have one of these on board for each passenger. This one works as a personal flotation device and qualifies if you're actually wearing it on your body. If it's stored away in your boxes, it does not count. So if this is all you have in your boat, you need to wear it. Wear one of the two, and if you ever need it, you'll be thankful and glad you did. Down the top of the lip, that little old bitty hook, like we've been talking about before. Pop right out one little barb. Just take your time. You can land them all day long. All right, now we're gonna talk about the knot, the loop knot. And this is the best visual aid that I've ever had to demonstrate it. The four pound line is really difficult to work with in real life and show you how to tie the knot. So this is our Berkeley Gulp Mena, one eighth ounce jig head. This is our four pound monofilament. It's real easy. You start out, you double your line, you pass it through the eye of the jig head. You put all four strands in one hand. You reach in the middle with one, the other hand, pull up, grab the jig. So you've got all four strands and you just make a loop with your fingers. You loop it three times, twist it three times, run the lure right through the loop, slide it up over the head, ease the knot down, pull it up snug, take all four strands, pull them up tight, and then you've got a perfect loop knot. The secret to the loop knot is if your knot actually sticks past the barb of your hook, it will tangle up. So you want to keep it as tight as possible, 
to the eye of your jig and the knot will not tangle up. After you've tied your perfect loop knot, it does not stick past the barb of your hook. You've got a really good tight loop, four strands of line running through it. Now you need to clip off the line that you do not want to use. Get your scissors, cut your three ends off that you don't need, cut it up close to your knot, and you're good to go. But I tell you this, if you cut the wrong line and you cut your main line, you'll get to tie that little handy dandy loop knot all over again. First cast, we have a smallie right here. Pretty good little fish. <laughs> right in the top of the head. A little jig. He wasn't going nowhere. There we go. Little goat minnow, one eighth ounce lead head. The loop knot lets it shake. Smallies. What more could a man want in the wintertime? Nice fish. That's a good fish right yes, there, sir. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Sunshine Sales offers affordable, gently used autos, four-wheel drives, tires, and service, freestanding carports, metal and wood utility buildings. They are conveniently located on Highway 23 just outside of Gate City. Hello, I'm Jeff Horn, and my family and I own and operate Sunshine Sales and Service in Gate City, Virginia. We're all about value. Often the cheapest will cost you the most, but not here. Hey Jeff, not only are these awesome storage buildings, they make great hunting cabins too. And I guarantee you Hayden can put it anywhere you want it. Where are you going, buddy? I'm going fishing. You want to go with me? Well, I'd love to, but I'm going to have to run to the bank and deposit a check for Margaret. Well, let's see. Well, just go with me and we'll deposit it. Well, that sounds good. Let's go. Let's go. John, this is the bank, but it's not the bank I was expecting. I've got to get this check deposited. With New People's Bank Mobile Deposit, you can deposit your check anywhere, even here. Even faster than you can bait your hook. New People's Bank. We help guide the way. See, you can still tell Margaret you went to the bank. Yeah, works for me. Dedication to innovation. One boat. The most accurate technology. One cam. When the reward is within range. One moment. A name you can rely on. One choice, Matthews. Hello, can I help you? I guess I'd like to see about getting a loan, please. I think Greg can help you with that. Okay. Come on back. First, you have a checking account. It's open in good standing? Yes. Okay, good. And uh, do you have automobile that's free and clear? Yes. Good. And do you have steady income or steady job? Yes. Well, based on that, we may be able to help you. You've been approved. Just sign here. And here's your check. It's that easy? Yes, it's that easy. Eagle Finance. We make loans to people, not credit scores. Closed captioning sponsored by Freedom Firearms, located on East Stone Drive in Kingsport. Now you've got all your gear, you know how to cast, you know how to land the fish, but there's one more important piece that you don't want to forget. Do not scrimp on your cold weather gear. This Freebill FXE snowsuit, parka, and bibs, man, they are designed for cold weather. They work great for us. You need to try them out. You need some head covering. I use a ski mask toboggan. I put a beanie underneath it. Use some good insulated waterproof gloves. Team it up with the old trusty full coverage motorcycle helmet and you can handle any of the elements the cold winter days throw at you. two things. Keeps my face warm and covers it up. In the winter time when the smallies get out there and the bite gets really tough, the water temperature gets 55 degrees, this is the best technique that you'll ever see for catching fish. Are you hooked up? Yeah. So I guess this this is the first tight line fish you've had a hold of? This is my first tight line fish I've ever caught. And how long have you been casting? 15 we, minutes? We've been out here every bit of 15 minutes. 
Oh, three bees putting me on them. I'm telling you, this is a new lifestyle for you, buddy, you know? Look at that. Nice little Cherokee bass. He's barely hooked now. That's all you know, right up in the top of that little fat lip. First one ever. There you go. I'll take it. You've seen it here, folks. Just shaking that little rod tip, and I uh, just felt a little tick, and I thought it was a rock, and then I just felt pressure, and it was swimming out. It's sure real complicated, enough. wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got another good one on. Not a monster. Oh. Oh, come here, fish. Once again, oh look, it's right on top of the jaw. Look, barely skin hooked. I had the back reel on them for a second. Oh, they're not going to get off. They, they get in that meaty part up here. They're not going to get off at all. You just take your time with them. Not a, like I say, not a monster, but a good wintertime fish. Anytime getting out of the house this time of year, it's good. You gotta throw a tight line. That's good large mouth. Oh, yeah, that's nice. All right, look, top of the jaw. Look at that. He wasn't getting off. Well, popped right out. Good large mouth. That's probably three, three and a quarter. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'll take five of those and then turn my fish in. Tight line, small hook, sharp hook, small barb, gulp minnow. You don't get no better than that, guys. Middle of the winter, December the, what is it, December the 15th, 13th. Nothing wrong with that. Give an extra jump. Gotta love it, guys. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's a good one to end on, right there. Now you see, you gotta, you gotta keep that rod when they go on that run. When they take off, you gotta back reel with them. You need a medium action rod. You don't want a wimpy action rod, but to let that fish play on that line like that right there. When you get him up here at the boat, you got enough bend in the rod where you don't break you off. Now, once again, that little fly is right in the end of his jaw. Right there. The little barb. The little barb, see, it's got him double pinned a little bit right there. You can see the hook on the outside. Pop him loose. He wasn't going anywhere. And that's a good one right there. That is a good one. Good fat belly. Winter time tight lining. Can't beat it. Mm -mm -mm. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Unlock the power of HDS with your fingertips. The power to find a needle in a haystack. You will outsmart the fish. Get there first with confidence and always stay one step ahead of Mother Nature. Find, navigate, dominate with the new HDS Gen 2 Touch from Lowrance. the bank stirring my life. Well, you know how we love this time of year. What you need to do is visit MPB Insurance Services. We got a full service insurance agency now. And if you expand this operation next year, you might want to look into a home equity line from New People's Bank. Sounds good. Let me run that by Margaret. Works for me. There are two kinds of people who fish. 
those who simply fish, and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, yeah. the top choice of pros for those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Looking for a memorable and unique getaway? Visit Kingsport, Tennessee, where breathtaking views and affordable family fun are just a short drive away. Tee it up in Kingsport. Come play one of our scenic courses nestled within the rolling hills of Northeast Tennessee. Enjoy the natural beauty of the wooded terrain and mountain views. We have great courses for golfers of all skill levels. Call to book a stay and play golf package at an incredible value. Great memories are waiting to happen in Kingsport, Tennessee. We'd love to see you here. This 3B Outdoors Tip of the Week is brought to you by Eagle Finance in Kingsport. We make loans to people, not credit scores. Anytime you're fishing, you're going to get hung up, particularly with these little tight line jigs. Now, what we use is a pocket rocket to get them unhung. You can see it's got little loops on it. All you do is run the line through the loop, drop it down. When it hits, it'll knock it loose almost every time. This thing has saved so much money, it is incredible. Get your line. It's real easy. You lay it right over it, pull it up over the little thing, drop it down, and watch the rod tip when it hits. See it, knock it loose, shake it, there it comes, right there. Each and every time the pocket rocket. Save a lot of money, save a lot of time. Eagle Finance. Visit us at 1101 East Stone Drive in Kingsport or call 423-378-5626. I hope you enjoyed this segment of 3B Outdoors. It's totally different and like I said, it's something that I truly love to do. Not only that, I got to finally use the visual aid that was given to me at our Bass Club meeting one time as actually as a prank. Because if you know me, I love to tight line. Sometimes I'm tight lining when there's other techniques that'll catch more fish, but I just love it, so I do it all the time. Let me encourage you, become a part of the tight line family. If you go out there and you're tight line and you catch a big smallmouth bass, send us some pictures, either Facebook or email. We'll post them and let everyone see the big smile and the big fish that you've caught. Tune in next week where Freddie will have you hanging out of a tree stand or looking out of a blind. I'm Nathan Light. Thanks for watching this episode of 3B Outdoors where we always bring you quality hunting and fishing. We wake up in the morning before the rising sun. Load up boats, rods and reels, bows and our guns. We're team 3B. Wanna have ourselves some fun. What kind of dive would you call that up there when you're laying on the front of the deck and you're facing the water? What kind of position is that? You know what I mean? There's all kinds of different. I'll call that the flop. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're talking about, baby. Cameraman, rock! <laughs> <laughs>